Rodgers is a unique challenge. Man, I'm, I think he has a uh, supreme level of intelligence, uh, understanding uh, coverage, leverage in general, single high versus two high safeties, where he wants to put the football, and a lot of it is predicated upon leverage. So he understands what his system is, where his route runners are going, and where your weaknesses are. So he's effective in that nature. You stop Cover. Cover. Russian cover. cover. That's it. It's a Russian cover. Got to go play ball. I say he's special. He's special behind the, uh, in the pocket. You know he can create. Again, he has uh, again the elite ability to scramble. Um, you know, as much credit as the quote unquote scrambling quarterbacks get, it's like this guy is like he, he's an elite scrambler. So we know that. Um, again, we, we want to keep him bottled up. Want to cover and just make it as difficult as possible. Where do you see about where he's at with adjusting to the new offense they have? It, he's probably a top three quarterback all time for this league. So I mean, he's, he's, he's working. That, that's what he does. So it's not as if he doesn't understand what's going out there, going on out there. Um, I mean, he knows how critical he is to the success of the offense, and that's what you see. Even more than other quarterbacks, Coach, do you have to remind your DBs, do not leave your man, no matter how long this play has elapsed? I, I wouldn't say it's uh, again, contrary to any other quarterback, but he, he, he has been probably the most effective in those situations, those scrambling situations. So it's a point of emphasis each and every single week. It just so happens that, again, he is an elite scramble type quarterback. So the emphasis is always there, but you are right. There, 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 there's not extra emphasis, but it's certainly emphasized. And from the defensive line, obviously it's great in the pocket and outside the pocket, but you want to bottle up and keep in the pocket. Yeah, no question about that. Like I said, it's our, 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 we have to be disciplined in our rush lanes, uh, but we have to rush, and that's really the bottom line. So be disciplined in our rush lanes, but rush. What about all the free plays he creates for those cadences? Yeah, it's the same idea. You know, same idea. So it's, um, you, can, you can imagine that they, whatever you can imagine, again, they have it in their arsenal, and he's sort of the master of it, again, trying to create the free plays, whether it's uh, substitutions, or thing, everything of that nature. So all that stuff is covered each and every single week. However, and emphasize certainly when you're dealing with this team and this quarterback. How much change is Devontae Adams and play for them? They have other playmakers, but he is clearly their top guy. Yeah, they like him, but I mean, dealing with a quarterback that can throw anybody open. So that's really what you're dealing with. Um, and whoever they put out there, our responsibility is to cover them. We don't know. We don't know what it's going to change or what it's going to look like. Um, Devontae went out and they brought in another guy and they still scored points. So what difference does it make to us? None. We're covering. The defense hasn't allowed a touchdown in eight quarters now. Obviously, that's a pretty large span, but what have you seen during that stretch? We want to be better in our situations, certainly. And we need to be better in third and one. Um, we have to be better in our uh, four-minute situation, getting the ball back for our offense with timeouts. Um, you know, we had we had a couple of opportunities there to get off the field, and um, you know, we, we 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 allowed the clock to run, and we forced our offense to use timeouts. That would have been critical for us. What have you seen that you've liked? Our effort, our hitting, our tenacity, our togetherness. You made Robert play successful in the two games this year. He he hunts, he hunts, and he he loves what he does. We love what he does. He has fantastic energy, and he prepares his butt off, and then he goes out there and he executes. So. I mean, you got to deal with him. How do you defend someone like Jimmy Graham? I know you had him up here in Seattle, so you kind of know how he is as a player. So, and he's kind of flown under the radar the last sure. couple of years. And has been sure. Yeah, you battle. You battle all the way until the echo of the whistle. Um, again, he's a big body. He's crafty. Again, he has great hands. We, we know that. And we just have to make sure we get in his hip pocket and finish. Demarcus, obviously, he wasn't healthy this offseason. You look at what, you know, Sunday's game, and he's got leg, left leg sticking out, and he's <laughs> caught off on, and that was early in the game. Yet he's out there. What, what have you seen just the way he's kind of worked his way through what he's going through? Yeah, that we need him out there. So, like I said, we're happy that he's out there. Again, regardless of any, again, whatever may be happening, it's a tough sport. Again, injuries, all that type of stuff happens. But again, we need him out there. He understands that, and we're satisfied with what he's given us. Was well, Sunday's game against Leighton his best game of the year? Yeah, I don't know that. I got to go back and take a look at the tape on that one. <laughs> like, yeah, no, it's uh, everybody is looking to elevate our game, right? Again, it's every single week, again, I'll come up here and I'll tell you, right, it's constant and never-ending improvement. We will never be satisfied. So next week, who's it going to be now, right? Again, should be you again, Layden, right? Why not this week? You know, why not you? Why not the next guy making this week your, your best game? Is Layton a great fit to match up with Jimmy? Jimmy Graham, Layton, his cover skills seem to kind of 
Yeah, I mean, body-wise, sure, you know, no doubt about it. You know, like, like they're both two big power forwards out there. Obviously, Jimmy has his history being a power forward. But, yeah, you take a look at Leighton, man. All right, you keep, take a look at Jalen. All right, again, you've got two big linebackers out there that, that match up really well. Have you been around a guy that can bend as well as Quinn? That's Quinn? Yeah. Now, did you see him after the sack? Like, yeah. no, there's no possible way. I, I don't know, look like a cobra, team. right? Like, it's like, <laughs> shoot, man. Like, oh, he's like a cobra out there. So, um, probably not. I mean, yeah, he, his flexibility is out of this world. So um, I mean, he puts his foot in the ground, and he, he, and he turns that corner. So that's it. Once he turns that toe, man, you got to look out. You saw Matt LaFleur last year, obviously, with Tennessee. How much, and, and obviously Aaron Rodgers got past the things that he wants to keep in the offense. So how much is a mix of what you saw from Green Bay and what you saw last year? You know, Coach LaFleur is running his offense. Totally. Yeah, he, yeah he's, he, he's running his offense. So and uh, like Right. Well, he, here's the cool part about the league. It's um, – Whatever Green Bay ran that was successful, other teams are running it too. So it's not as if they're going in there and not running things that Green Bay hadn't run previously and utilized for success. So typically it's how the league works, as we all know, you know, um, copycat. So they want to do what the really good teams are doing and what they've done historically. So, yeah, you, if there's a mire or a mixture, it's because, yeah, it's already in their offense because Green Bay has utilized it for success historically. He's looking good um, and improving. That's all we can ask. And he's uh, doing everything that he can in the training room and everything that the doctors are asking and requiring of him. And, uh, and we can't wait till he's back out there for us. Tell me, tell me what you think about Malik Collins' season so far. Has it been impressive? Yeah, it has. It has. Um, but it's a testament to his offseason, what he did in camp. And obviously, again, you, he's bearing the fruit of it now. So that, that's why, again, it's important for everybody to make sure, take care of your body, you get your work done in the off season, then you bear the fruit once the season starts. So that's where he is. Um, again, do we expect more? I mean, obviously, yeah, we, we, we all want more and he wants to give more and that's why we love him. You know, it's, it's the same thought again. He will not be satisfied. So neither, neither will we. <laughs> wow. Sure. I'm not sure about that. I saw this. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So fail what? I saw this. <laughs> yeah, that's all I remember. Yeah. Crawford, how did he look today? I think everybody is looking good. So everybody's looking good. Um, I said all the rehabilitation and things of that nature. Again, guys are doing everything that's required of them. So we'll see. All right. Thank you, guys.